Yes, uh, hello. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to report truck number 9802B. Uh, what did he do? Um, he cut me off slightly and he gave a wave, but uh, I didn't like the wave that he gave. I didn't think it was good enough. What's that? What am I doing? Um, I am talking on the phone, making a video blog, and driving. Are you Today we're talking about uh, the wide receivers, because that's all we ever talk about now. All the focus has gone away. You know, it's like, I'm sure that, uh, you know, Matt Flynn and Russell Wilson and Tavares Jackson are happy because the wide receivers have taken all the focus in training camp away from the quarterback situation. Um, you know, that's like the broken hand, like breaking your hand when you get your leg cut off in the war to distract you. Or uh, if you got no butt but you big boobs, that kind of thing. So it's all about the wide receivers right now. Uh, you got Antonio Bryant and Braylon Edwards uh, just signed this last week and I don't know what's going to happen but it's interesting because you know they didn't draft a wide receiver and at the time John Schneider said meh he said the class was meh so we don't have any we didn't do that and then after the draft we signed two guys and um, then it looks like you know maybe Phil Bates is an interesting guy Tune uh, interesting guy and then there's another guy Obviously not an interesting guy, uh, and then and then we signed Antonio Bryant, and I was like, uh, okay. It was funny. Antonio Bryant and uh, Braylon Edwards played together in Cleveland, but when they drafted Braylon Edwards, it basically pushed out Antonio Bryant after he didn't have a very good season. So now they're playing together again, but doubtful, nay impossible. That both of them make this roster. So one of them is going to either win again or uh, they'll both be losers. It's, uh, I, I'd say that it's possible that they're both lo losers, but I, I don't think that it's probable. Uh, one of these guys is going to make the team, and I think it's likely going to be Braylon Edwards. And the reason I say that is because you have to ask, I don't think that if the Seahawks are very happy with what they've got at wide receiver and I think they're worried about uh, Sidney Rice obviously his health they don't maybe know what to expect as far as the X split end you know they cut Mike Williams it was clearly I'd say it's obviously I mean it's health and contract they might believe that Mike Williams uh, could get the job done if he was healthy, but they clearly didn't see him in healthy and good shape enough to pay him uh, his contract, and so that's why uh, Mike Williams is no longer a Seahawk. They could have also cut him, save the cost, and sign him to the veteran minimum because he ain't signed now, and they didn't do that either, so he's definitely not ready to play. I'd say he hasn't signed with anybody. So you got Antonio Bryant. Braylon Edwards. Interesting that they signed Bryant first. They could have signed either one of them, but they waited a few days, and now they're signing Braylon Edwards, who looks good on the first day of camp, according to multiple people at camp. Um, but he didn't do anything for San Francisco last season. That's interesting. Uh, but Two years ago, he was good. It's just the drops, man. Like, you're a wide receiver. You can't. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. Dude, you had 35 drops over a two-year period in Cleveland. 35 drops. Like, how could you be possibly be paid $40 million to do something? I mean, I'm not even entirely sure that the phrase dropped the ball existed before 2006 or 2007. I can't really be sure about that. Uh, 
because it really feels like that whole lexicon belongs to Brent Reynolds. However, if you mix in uh, four big plays with every one drop, then maybe we're uh, seeing some value here. I mean, 16 touchdowns. I don't necessarily think that uh, scoring 16, like, I don't necessarily think that scoring touchdowns is a skill because, hey, if someone gives you a pass in the end zone or whatever, you're supposed to catch it. If somebody, I mean, it's all set up for you to score. You just need to do your job. But, you know, the whole point of the game is to get across the end zone to score. And if you do it 16 times, I'll feel pretty good about you. Uh, at this point, I obviously would not expect 16 or 6 touchdowns from Braylon Edwards. But if he makes the team, it's very possible that he actually does become the starter if Golden Tate, Chris Durham, Ben Olamana, Deion Butler, they needed the insurance, they got the insurance, and now we'll see what happens.